hours after we had the Beijing 5.4 earthquake, if you see the, thir three, the third uh, uh, video before this one, China 5.4 strong earthquake shakes Beijing, felt, probably felt in Korea, but this one also was definitely felt in Korea. So the first one was about 200 miles south of Beijing right here, that was 5.4. This one is 5.5 and uh, 10 minutes later 4.9. So this has, take, this has taken place the past hour. Uh, you can see right here they're red, okay? 5.5 at 9.12 local time in the uh, p.m. And this is uh, 20 minutes later, 9.32 p.m., okay? 35 kilometers depth. And this one was 13 kilometers depth. There we are right there. Ni, shi, no, omote. Sendai must have felt it, and it's not far from Taiwan. There's Taiwan, and Korea, Shanghai must have felt it, Korea as well. And this is the shake map right there. That's a 5.5 shake map. Uh, so, these I don't know if this had to do with the China earthquake, this one here 5.4, 10 kilometers depth, and uh. You can see the uh, that had some uh, liquefaction that we saw there. And we can go to the shake map here as well. Let's put this in a little bit. Okay. And go back to the aerial. There we go. And you can see there's a lot of rivers here. And you can see the delta the mud from the rivers uh, into the Yellow Sea, emptying into the Yellow Sea. There's uh, North Korea, South Korea, and the supervolcano, Mount Baekdu right there. And uh, this is where the this is where the new ones took place, 5.5, 4.9 within this past hour. So uh, USGS stops the frequency there. You can see how intense it is, and you can see all again here how shallow, how how much you can see the this one here. We have this gives us the liquefaction estimate right there. Okay, in that area, and these are the new ones. Let's go to the aerial again here. Okay, they stop it here, but if you extend it, I'm sure Jeju Island and what's the other one there from my, when I, when I do, when I, uh, no, I can't, I can't see that. Let's see. There's Korea. Jeju Island and Busan must have felt it as well. South Korea must have felt this earthquake. There, you can see the, let's pull out a little bit. You can see the shakes. Okay. Uh, we're, and from what I, you know, because I, I do watch uh, Korean dramas, okay, I love them, they're very nice, uh, very romantic, but uh, I don't see, I don't usually see earthquakes in Korea, and you can see may, maybe a few here, these are the historic earthquakes, okay, they don't have any earthquakes here, perhaps in this area here, but uh, you have more in China, and of course Japan, but not that many in South Korea, but they must have felt these today. This one here, 5.5, and the other 5.4. Uh, okay, but back to the aerial again. Topographic, Busan, Jeju, and the aerial. So a lot of activity here. South Korea must have felt it, perhaps even west, uh, the western coast of South Korea near Seoul over here. And... Um, Going back to the, what am I looking at, sorry, here, the historic tectonic summary, of course, it's in the Ring of Fire, various plates, the larger Pacific Eurasian plates and smaller Sunda plates, Philippine Sea Plate, is unusual in that its borders are near all zones of plate convergence, the Pacific plates abducting into the mantle, south of Japan, beneath the Izu, Bonin, and Mariana Island arcs, which extend more than 3,000 kilometers. And we've had, of course, very big earthquakes here. 
in this abduction zone. Seismic activity along the boundaries of the Philippine Sea Plate produced seven great over a magnitude earth, eight earthquakes and 250 large seven magnitude earthquakes. Among the most destructive were the 1932 Kanto, the 1948 Fukai, and the 1985 Kobe Japan earthquakes, 1935, 1999 Taiwan earthquakes, and uh, 7.6 magnitude in 1976 Moro Gulf. 1990 magnitude 7.6 Luzon Philippines earthquake. There have also been a number of tsunami generated events in the region including the Moro Gulf earthquake whose tsunami resulted in uh, 5,000 casualties. So this is uh, an area of course as we know of very big earthquakes. And this is what's happening there. I wonder this is a double. You see it's right in the same area. So this is what's going on there today. Very, very big earthquakes. I wonder if there's anything, maybe this is a foreshock, a foretaste of something out of, bigger, I don't know. I'm not a geologist, but I do love geology. I took one course in uh, Queens College, Geology 101. We even went to a, a zinc mine in New Jersey. It was unbelievable. Um, zinc for, I think it was mined for uh, fertilizer. Uh, anyway, uh, and we also learned how to find garnets in garnet schist. <laughs> anyway, this is what's happening there. I hope everybody there is fine and this is the end of the earthquakes. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.